going to show you today how I make my blasting caps. Remember, I don't try anything you see here at home. Okay, so I used to use straws and HMTD when I was making my blasting caps. I never updated stuff. The straws were too soft and light could get in and, if, you know, light can set HMTD off. Um, so now what I've been doing is doing the same procedure, but I use these Saturn tubes. Um, and I'll use Fuse and HMTD in it. Um, but I got another way of doing it as well. And so I can, I can use these as well with your electric matches um, for either the HMTD or other compounds you want to put in it. But this was my new way I've been doing it is I've been filling these up with ETN or PETN. Um, and then I take these electric matches and you want to make sure that you, you pull that orange piece all the way up to the tip to leave a nice hollow cavity in there. And then I fill it with, um, leadazide or a nitrotetrazole or a silver azide. But the, before I fill it, I will take to make sure that we don't, you know, and I put a little hot glue on it. That way the uh, sucker doesn't slide around, and so it's watertight. So that's the first step. And then I fill it with lead azide. Okay, so here's a little bit of damp lead azide. And what I do is I try to fill this up with it. Um, lead azide tends to cake really bad, so it's really hard to, you know, get it really good and powderized sometimes to get it into these plus you don't really want it to touch your skin so I generally will do this damp let it dry um, try not to get it on the edges <laughs> gotta make sure you get enough in there if you're using this to set off like say PETN or RDX or ETN I don't like that I got it on the side there. Well, maybe that'll work better. But yeah, that definitely works better. Yep, nice and full. Then just let it dry out. Okay, so now that we got a few of these pre-made, that's all dried in there. It's like a rock. Um, there's probably like 0 0.5 of a gram or a little less in there. I have not actually weighed them. I try not to handle them. But I did put some together to test to make sure it was adequate. So long as you pull that tight so it leaves the space in these, pack it in like I showed you, and let it dry, that's more than ample to set the rest of it off. And, of course, the finished product will look like this. Um, or you can actually just add fuse and wrap it with tape or use other glues or whatever. Um, but you then you just add the powdered lead azide rather than one of these pre-set up uh, igniters. But here is how I fill them. I'll put one on a scale that's empty. And you make sure it's zeroed. And what I'll do is I just... I fill them and I, I'll pack them uh, using just my body weight. I, I, I personally do not go any more than that. And I put a half gram in each. Only a half gram in each. Um, you can go more if you want. You can buy these in different lengths too. I mean, these are more than adequate to do most of the stuff I do. There we go. Point. 0 0.41 so we need some more another thing that i'm going to say is never put like all of this stuff together like only take a little bit of your secondary never keep it them all of it together um, and don't keep the initiating part of it the, the primary anywhere as near while you're doing this okay so there we go we got 0 0.503 and then literally what i do is I'll take them and I'll set it aside with some tape. Like I said, you can glue these. I just do this because it's easy. 
And I actually will wipe the powder off the outside with a damp towel. And I know I just got done saying not to, to bring the initiator over with it, but just for shits and giggles, I'm going to show you literally, and then all I do is slide that in as far as it'll go. And you want to wrap it to make sure it's as tight as possible. You can use different types of glue on the end. Technically, if you use a longer tube, um, you could seal the end with hot glue, but you want to make sure that uh, that this piece is down in there far enough so that you don't end up getting it too hot and actually setting it off in your freaking hand. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I mean, that's how we make them. And like I said, I'll do another one, fill it with, uh, I'll put the same weight in here, and then I'll fill it almost to the top with lead azide, and I'll just put a fuse in the end of it. You can use nitrotetrazoles, you can use silver azide, you, gotta, you might be able to use NAP, I haven't messed with that yet, I got stuff coming, uh, thanks to uh, Dugan for pointing that stuff out, um, but yeah, we'll see if that stuff will work, I'll find that out later, but uh, yeah, you just put that in, tape it up the same way, and then you've got one you can light with a, um, with a fuse, with a, instead of having to run the cord. Nope, thanks for watching.